I'll use a little brake comparison um, with the 700p um, with the 300 grain SNK uh, doing 2600 feet per second. The rifle and bipod and everything weighs um, 12 pounds. Here's a factory 700p brake. This is an HS Precision Factory Brake, a 338 La Pua. This is a factory Remington 338 Lapua brake. This is a Savage Factory 338 Lapua brake. This is a um, factory Sarko TRG brake, a Tika brake and a Blaza brake, they're all the same. It's a little T2 Terminator. It's really a bit small for the 338 Lapua, but I use them on the lightweight rifles, keep the weight down. So even though it's a very small brake, you can see it performs very well. And this is a T3 Terminator. Um, this this one model, this model's made to go screw straight on a um, factory Savage 338 using the factory crush washer. They also come in stainless steel. So you can see that that works better than the T2, but it is a bigger brake. So that goes there. And here's the new new T4. It's really designed for the bigger 338. It's bigger than the Lapur, the big cases, 375s, things like that. Because it's so big, it doesn't work that well on the 338 Lapur. Just the port sizes and everything else. It still works better than the T3. Then we'll do one without a brake, just to show you what the brakes actually do. It's way back there. So that's where they finished up. There's the T4 and the T3 and the T2 next to the Sarko TRG. There's the Savage brake there, the um, Factory 700P brake, another factory brake for the 338, 
It's a Remington 338 Lapua brake and a 338 HS Precision brake. And then way back there is where it stopped without a brake. So you can see the brakes do, do a lot to reduce recoil. And that's on a 338 Lapua with a 300 grain SMK doing 2600 feet per second. Cheers.